Ain't nobody <laughs> wearing this shit on the train. What's up? <laughs> and he got issues. A whole bunch of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was going to bend down the I was going to tie my shoe up because my boot came loose. But anyway, uh, welcome to the reality of love. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, happy the, New Year. The lady is in the building. Hello, Andy. Happy Hi. New Year to you. Oh, why, why are you rubbing your head? You feeling nice and warm? Well, it, it's hitting the system. It's in your bloodstream already. Jealous. No, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous at all. I you know, have my one. You know, we deserve it though. Where's my interest? First of all, ladies and gentlemen, this book right here called Super Shred, it says clearly it's four weeks, devil. 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's by my good buddy, Dr. Ian Smith. And uh, it just came out New Year's Eve. This is his 11th book to date. He had a book prior to this called Shred, which goes six weeks and two inches smaller, some, something like that. So, <laughs> so here, long story short, First of all, I, I need to welcome our guests. Uh, this gentleman right here is Brian Alonz from ThisIsRB.com. We have James Wexler on, on the other side of Indy from ThisIsRB.com, the creator of uh, ThisIsRB.com. you got to check out the website. It's really hot. It's really phenomenal. So, gentlemen, just to kind of give you guys a little story uh, on, on Dr. Ian Smith, he came here a little bit before Thanksgiving to tell us about this book. So upon him telling us about the book, he created a challenge among us to engage, which was really smart, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, really smart. But I knew I needed to shave off a couple of pounds. Um, I don't know about Indy. Yes, I needed to. <laughs> I did. I needed to. So he said to us for us to engage into the diet. So we did, along with one other gentleman. And um, <laughs> when he came into the studio tonight, Indy throws. A pack of popcorn, I threw popcorn <laughs> at him. I threw the bag at Why him. Why did you do that, Indy? Was it? I can you go up to, I close to the door? I told you I was going to throw it at him because I want some chicken wings. I'm. I don't want to eat popcorn, a hundred calorie popcorn as my snack anymore. I no, want uh, my chicken wings. He he has other snacks in his book, and and I I must I'm admit I started at two hundred and twenty. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. It's hungry. All right. Okay. Got you. <laughs> so I started at two hundred twenty pounds. And today I'm 204. Right? So, that's impressive. You kind of did it. You kind of did it. It, did, it does work. work. You didn't have to just eat his popcorn. Right. Right. He breaks down. He has some, a lot of other options in the back of the book. 100 calorie options. 150 calorie options. Yeah. I made sure I went through the list and said, let me start picking out some of the things I like. You know, so he said, like, you could have... 50 uh, Petrus Farms goldfish. I'm like, okay, I like that. That's Let me highlight. It's a good amount of fish. That's a nice amount, yeah, right? a good amount of fish. That's a nice amount. Yeah. So, and then he had like, he said you could have um, nine Ritz crackers with nothing on it, or you could have five Ritz crackers with a little bit of peanut butter. I highlighted that. that. I'll take that take too. That. So I went beyond the popcorn thing because the popcorn thing was cool, but it's really like, to me, it was bland. But the barbecue, he has like kettle and he has uh, the uh, the barbecue. But look, the bottom line, I wanted to definitely shave it off, and I wanted you know create a, a healthy be, a healthy me because guess what? These days, like I'm a seasoned guy, but you don't have to be seasoned no more. You can call me old if you want to. I'm still living. There's a lot of young cats out here that are not with us, and I'm not talking about because of natural causes. I'm talking about the causes that are Bad, bad eating habits, bad lifestyles, just bad lifestyles. Mm -hmm. And we just have, to, I think with us being at the top of 2014, we just have to be very conscious of what we're doing to this. Because we only get one of these. It's not like you can change a coat and get a new coat. You get one body. You get one life. You get one chance. And if you're lucky, you can make that chance last a long time. And that's where I'm at at this stage of the game of my life. You know, I, my thing wasn't a resolution. My thing is, how can I become better? How can I? Because if I'm, if I'm a better person, everything around me becomes better as well. I'm, I'm treating people better. I, I have a better perspective on life. So that was my, my, my flow on it. What was your flow on it? 
<laughs> I don't treat people better when I'm hungry. I'm really cranky. You get evil. When I'm hungry. You get evil. Oh, yes, my come mother. On, my yeah. mother had to go out and get me some brown sugar at least, so I could have it with my tea because I was cranky and cracked out. However, I have cracked horrible out. acid reflux. Like I have to be, and they know I have to be hospitalized when I have a, a I guess a what do you call it? A episode? episode. Yeah. And so that for me, that was it. I'm like, okay, if this can help me and at least start to change my, my digestive right, system, right. then I'm going to do and it. And you haven't had any problems while you were on it, right? I haven't. Well, the thing is, I've had to have medication. Uh, so I don't know if it was the change. And I'm sure it still helped the change in the diet I'm sure. or the medication. But I stopped taking the medication and I haven't had any problems. Oh, good. Very good. So it it was a blessing in that respect. I'm not going to, you know, complain about that. But what I wanted to tell Dr. Ian when he was here was I, I'm interested in the whole colonic process. So I've been researching that. And what I found out is when you get a colonic, that's just the base of cleaning out your system. Mm. There is a program that people need to take to break down the walls of your colon the that G track, you huh? just can't it nothing will bring it out unless you do this like this whole natural process and so even with this even when you diet yeah you might shred the pounds but we still have a lot of toxins in our body no i agree i agree you know so i mean so figure if you do this if you do this and then you did uh colonic because I, I i think i'm overdue i probably mm-hmm. need to... you're full of it Full of what, Indy? Full of caca. Oh, oh gosh. God. You want me to say shit? Uh, I don't want to say that. <laughs> you already did. Thank you okay. very much. All right. Well, you know what? I, I think we. I think it, that's probably the next stage that I probably have to get to, you know, that okay. that colonic thing. But It's not bad. I've had one before. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll have that on the next show. <laughs> it feels good. You feel like, you know, you can uh, massage it. Look, I don't know how good it feels for any guy getting a tube <laughs> up his butt. It's not like that. The tube isn't that big, and it's not all the way up your butt. Okay, it's not. So, based on looking at James' face, awkward. you know, James? it's it's an yeah, awkward it's situation. Need a colonic <laughs> yeah, I'm comfortable. Like maybe nine more years of therapy. You're pro- well, depending on what you've eaten over the years that you've been living, though, James could could determine maybe you could use it right now. Like for men, it was like forty. Mm. No, you thinking about your prostate? You thinking about your prostate? Ain't it the same thing? Is that for the same reason? No! Your col- a colonic is for your colon. So why are you touching your chest for? Because your, colon, <laughs> because your digestive system starts here. So you're just saying that you can get it whenever? Yeah. Yeah, okay. They are nasty. You, do, well, let me ask you this, because, I mean, again, we're going to bring uh, the, the interesting men's perspective to, to the table tonight on this, for those of you who are just joining us tonight. But... Uh, how often do you gentlemen get physicals? Often at all. Yeah. Huh? Not often at all. Uh, no, that's Are you kidding me? Um, dead serious. Like last year was the first time I got a physical in like four years, and it's only because I had health insurance and I was about to not have health insurance. I was like, hey, yeah, I'm right, gonna get checked right, out. Right. I got all my blood work. The I know. I probably the same thing. I know. I had one. Actually, I probably had one like two years, but it wasn't meant to be for that. And then I just had it anyways. But then before that, it was like when I turned 25, I just went and got a physical. Wow. So what I'm going to say in part upon you guys is that it's, it's got to be done every year. You're right. Every year you got just right. as quick as just as much as you get your teeth done, which is they say every six to six to 12 months. I think you guys should have. Uh, yeah, well, we want to we want to change it as of today. We want to start changing. That's because another male pride thing. How it is. I need that? It, well, we don't. Right, we don't go until something hurts or bothers us. Then we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna charge you, gentlemen, to change the the perspective now. And now, if you had well, this year just started, so I know you didn't have one. I didn't have my I didn't have my physical either yet. So we all gotta start doing it at least once a year, a full physical. Are we agreeing on that? All right. <laughs> you yeah, can, you yeah, in Canada? Canadian. You can go home. You can go home no, Canada. you have to like live there and have like residency there in order to really claim the benefits uh, of of like your uh, 
your quote unquote free health care. Gotcha. Well, you, I, I'm not going. I'm not going to put you on blast. Right. 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 So, so what way to link y'all on? <laughs> hey man, I will tell you. I'll tell you when we get off the air, for sure. But but I think brother it's a James, great idea. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a nice thing to start. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cause, look, if you love you, if you love yourself, then you do it. If you don't love you know, yourself, you're right, you won't. Because I can and go out and buy like three hundred dollars shoes. I can go out and spend money on a doctor. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I mean, look, yeah. you spend money. I was I. You spend money in a strip club. You could definitely spend money on a doctor. <laughs> Why you gotta do that, brother Lenny? Oh, okay. Why I'm you sorry, gotta do bro. that, brother I'm sorry, Lenny? Sorry. Hey man, I'm the Thor. I'm the Thor. I throw you, I'm the <laughs> Thor. I throw you under the bus. So, oh man, I just got rolled over, reversed, and rolled back over. Oh well, wait, wait, wait till Indy gets to you. <laughs> I'm nice with it. <laughs> Right. You're fair. You can't use my line. Wait a minute. Wait a he already knows. Like he's harsher than me. Maybe he softened up a little. Have you softened up? With my old age, I have. I have okay. my old age. Right. Huh. Well, let's see how Indy feels about this. So, Indy, you you know, there's a lot of talk right now. You know, Dwayne Wade just came out. Um, it's it's been revealed that I guess Gabrielle Union and him had a break and. He must have dipped his stick in something, and now a young lady. A vagina. Okay. And uh, yeah, have. Women have vaginas. what has happened was a baby is either here or is on the way to being here. Uh, and we just recently found out ludicrous. The baby mom. Oh. Oh. Damon Wayne's Jr. Oh, so the mother of Dwayne Wade's child has two other children by Damon Wayans Jr., the one that we see on this new reality show, right? Which one is he? Reality show. Oh, the BET show. Because Damon Wayans Jr., they have a BET show. Yeah, mm-hmm. growing up, Wayans are. Yeah. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah. he's not on that show. He's not on that one? He's not on that show. Okay. Oh, is that the one on New Girl? He was, he's the com- Girl. comedian on, yeah, New Girl. New Girl. And uh, Happy Endings, which is also, I think, off the air now. So, what does this say about the young lady? No, no, I'm just okay. She got lucky. Let me let me strike that. Let me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna strike that for a person of uh, who's in the eye of popularity. She got lucky. I'll say this. I don't. I don't. I'm just overwhelmed. I get the topic. I'm overwhelmed because I don't know what the question is. The question is, would you get married? Would you still get married to your significant other um, knowing that they fathered or mothered a child through a breakup that you guys had? So you started in a relationship. For whatever reason, somebody came to the table and said, we need to take a break in the relationship. So once you've taken a break in this relationship, you did your thing. He did his thing. While you were doing your thing, obviously someone was doing it unprotectively, and now a child is coming forth. So would you? Could you forgive that person? Would you still get married? Could you? Right. Oh, I could. I could definitely forgive. But would you get would, married to them? No. You would not get married. No, I think that that would be that that break. <laughs> that break means that that was God's way of showing me that you weren't the person I was supposed to be marrying. Not because of the child, but just because, you know, one, if you're going to marry me, what's the break for? And two, like, well, what's the break for? Well, what the, you the, the break? Yeah, I mean, because, I, look, I've been in that situation where women have said to me, uh, but you're, I, but you, you, you need to take a break. Asking like, a me, break. I wouldn't take a break. If I'm going to marry you, what do I need a break for? What's Swallow the break? That's what I said. So then go do that and we aren't thinking about marriage. When when I want to get married to someone, it's it's marriage. A, a break is all right, you take your ass to the store. I'm going to go shopping. Well, I'll see you later. Like it, no, that's absolutely not. not. That's it's running errands. Okay, well that's a break. You don't get to break from being committed. If you're committed, you're committed. And if No, absolutely not. Yes, I will forgive you, and it will probably take time, and I will need space. And when I'm in a relationship and you're being baby daddy, then at some point we'll get together again and we'll be friends because I'm friends with my exes, but that doesn't mean we're going to get married. No, absolutely not. And anyone who knows me already knows that 
I'm iffy about marrying men with kids or being with a man with a child anyway. Right now? It, period. Like, I've done it before. <laughs> it didn't work. And no. When I did it before, in my last marriage, it worked because of, clearly, because of the responsible parenting. And so there was no, there was no comp, there was no, um, there was no strife. There was no tension. I had uh, my own separate relationship with my ex's baby mama. <laughs> mm. And the children and I were really close. So when they came to visit, we hung. It was just awesome. It, it was very respectful. And the children were planned before. You know what I'm saying? So these days people are just having kids. And aren't thinking about the children. No, I'm not going to marry you because you're going to be a new father with new responsibilities. You are a new person in a new situation. You are no longer my fiance. You are a baby daddy to somebody else. I don't want that. That's dirt. I don't want all that dirt. No. Well, you're no. the first. She's the first woman that said no. no. Because every yeah. woman, I don't know if you were listening, Indy, but every woman before you tonight said, you know, it depends. You know but, why? No. Okay, so Vito last week um, hooked everybody up with a link to this author. Her name is um, Chiamanda Adiche. I hope I'm saying it right. I hope. Please forgive me if I'm not because she's awesome. And Beyonce um, sampled her oh, yeah. on Flawless on, on one of her, you know, interludes. Mm -hmm. And she specifically says that girls are, we're raised to be in competition with each other for men. And you all are raised and reared to be in competition for success. And it's like, of course women are going to be passive about it because we think that we can't get anybody else. If you feel disrespected, don't marry that. But why would you marry? Yeah, we could sleep together again. I'll boo you up. Bring something, we'll go out to eat, we'll have fun. Hey, it's sex that I'm used to. You know me, I know you. I am not. Take me on a cruise. You could get it on the cruise. Oh, God. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You, he could get it on the cruise, so. Yeah, but you going back to your baby mama. You have no longer earned the right to have husband privileges. Absolutely not. You don't get that respect. I'll be all right with that. <laughs> yeah. I'll be all right with that. That's it. So no. I can still hit it? Yeah, until my <laughs> husband comes around. Wow! But from the looks of it, you wasn't sound like you're trying to get married. Hold so. on, I got I got to do it because you said I the cruise. Found out Hold on, that... I, because Vito brought up the cruise situation. Let me deviate for yeah, just a moment. Yeah, deviate. I bet. That's the situation <laughs> on this cruise. All right, gentlemen, it, let me ask you, yeah. and I'm going to start with you, James, because you're the quiet one. Mm. So far, why do I feel like <laughs> that truck coming at so, me right now? So you decide that you want to take a woman. On you want to treat a young lady to an all-expense paid cruise vacation for seven days. She doesn't have to do anything but show up. Mm -hmm. Are you expecting anything? No, you have to. No, you have oh. to tell the history. You're not telling. You all haven't had sex yet, but right. you like each other. You're attracted to Absolutely. each other. You like each other. You're attracted, but you like each other. You Are like you expecting other. anything? If she's going on that cruise, you want to invite her on the cruise. You haven't had sex. And yet. if she agreed uh -huh. and she showed up. Uh -huh. You're, of course you're expecting that. Have Seven days on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, brother? Have you done anything else? I mean, if you haven't done sex, have you gone anywhere with her? No. Maybe. Time? I mean, I'm going to say you went out a couple of times. No, just, talking, just for I'm, I'm if about, none of that has happened, why would she go on a cruise I'm, I'm, I'm talking about third base, at least. What do you mean third base? A little toppy top. No, 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 no. Nothing. No, nothing. She's not going on the cruise with me. I'm not taking. Ah! I'm not taking a woman I haven't slept with on a cruise. Shout it's not out going down to Bugsy. Bugsy <laughs> said the same thing. She's not. If we haven't had sex already. No, we are not going on. Not a cruise. even. Not even a little toppy top. If I haven't gotten at least a little toppy top. Mm -hmm. All right, but but okay. Let me let me let me rock, <laughs> let me rock with James for a second on this. Let me rock with James. Now you haven't got no toppy top, but but obviously James, if you've considered her. Mm -hmm. For going with you on this cruise, are you not thinking that this might be the moment nah. that the toppy top or whatever else is going to come along is going to come along? There's plenty of men that would. Yes, of course, they would consider that. 
That's probably those those are the men that would think that that's what they need to do mm. in order for it to happen. Mm. Yeah. You know what I do? And that's logical. Mm. I would take it to a Lenny Green cruise, <laughs> then go to a hotel afterwards, and if it doesn't <laughs> happen after that, it's just one night wasted, not seven no. nights in hell. Oh wow, <laughs> wow! You know so I'm you saying? just take her for a, a, a one, a one night, night, a one but, night but out in a hotel. Take out for a good night. Sex before? What if you have the conversation that lets you know that? Yeah, it's going down on this. Like, cause you all like each other. It's not like you don't know that there's no chemistry. Right. Talking and actions are two different things, though, love. Like, you gotta. But he brought up a really good point about not taking that person with you on that trip because if you did it and it was bad and that was a very oh, awkward situation, right. it's the first yeah. time. The sea. Yeah, you can't Can you get can't get away from that. Uh, nah, she's you're there. done. She's there. You gotta go back to that cabin. Like, oh gosh. <laughs> 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 That's always the worst. Wow. <laughs> or, or here's the here's the other worst part about it. Hate to say it, she can't really do it. Like she's horrible, horrible. And I've experienced that once in my life. Horrible. He's, He's like, like, you know, oh, just stop. No. Just stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Get off me. I'm finished. <laughs> Right now, well, she's, com- she's coming on to you now even more. I'm finished. Right. Wow. Oh, okay. interesting situation. <laughs> hey, look, welcome to the reality of love. You're getting a real talk conversation tonight. Uh, I want to encourage you guys to make sure you visit this is rmb.com. Uh, it's a wonderful music site. Please, gentlemen, explain uh, what the site is about and how long it's been in existence. Sure. Uh, thanks. The site's been around since uh, 2008, and it's um, for R&B music fans. You can go to the website. It's uh, in blog format, and um, hear all the latest music, maybe discover some new artists, um, read a little gossip, watch some videos. And they are the recipient of a wonderful st- distinguished award called the Soul Train Music Awards, which is something that is really big. Soul Train Music Awards. I just want to know, from a personal standpoint, what kind of feeling did you guys have once you knew, obviously, that you were nominated for it and then, obviously, walking away with it? And yeah. and what was the category that you won in? Yeah, well, we are so honored and, you know, it's just an amazing feeling. But um, the category was um, Best Entertainment Slash Music Website or Blog. And um, it's amazing that such a platform would have that as a category in this day and age you know that's the only award show that has something like that Mm -hmm. so um Mm -hmm. you know that means a lot because it's really the only place where we could be honored at such a high level yeah but um i mean it was like you know on cloud nine did you guys attend the uh no they did it online only so um they did that award you know it was held on all the voting was online um, they didn't announce it. They they pre-taped the show a month before they announced the the winner of that. So then they had it like just come across the screen um, oh, on wow. BT. It came across. We the actually screen. missed it though. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you at least DVR? Yeah, it was on DVR. I had my. I was literally. I think I was about to post something on the website, and I got a phone call. Like they just announced it. Oh wow! And I had to rewind. So now you have the award now. Not yet. Now, yeah, uh, so just could, it, you know, just you know, you know, house you know what? It's going ahead. Well, it's go go, yeah. going ahead. But here's what I was going to say: <laughs> <laughs> Can you take the award with you <laughs> to the Soul Chain Cruise? <laughs> <laughs> I want to go on a ship because you know they're having this cruise. They're having this cruise, man. This cruise is about to go down, and um, is either February or March. Mm. Is it performances on it? What? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, dude, that crazy. guy, a lot of folks on. The, Charlie Wilson is one of the folks well, that we were just talking we about. we didn't go to the award show, <laughs> can we get some tickets? Yeah, I'm just saying. Hey, look, I don't blame you, man. Well, kudos to both of you. Um, just to you, Brother James, for, um, you know, having the creative to to move forward and, and actually create uh, the brainchild of this. And uh, I know it's going to be explosive from this point. And I know you, brother. I know, I know your style, and so I know you're definitely yeah, he's feet and and hands <laughs> and everything into it. Yeah, yeah, he's no hardcore. question. Yeah, you, you you're a team you're a team player. There's no question about that, brother. What we need to do lights? I got the light <laughs> camera. I, I could do camera and lights at the same time. Do it like this. So now you you go full throttle. So you know, kudos to you, man. Because you know, without without having a great supportive team behind you, especially in the beginning stages of anything, it really is hard to pull off anything. You know what I'm saying? So. I know it takes a lot of work. It's more work that goes into it than what we possibly know. Yeah, yeah. A lot of work goes into it. But it's still, it's wonderful when you get um, just like 
someone says, you know what, he does a good job. I think I attended an event once. Uh, you guys did something for Q Parker or One Twelve. Uh, I, I can't remember, but uh, they they said this is R and B. I was like, oh, I know these cats. This is R and B. It's kind of <laughs> kind of coming up through the the works. Uh, they said this is R and B. Is like kind of behind. It's like, oh, really? Okay, well. Maybe I can kick, can I come in? <laughs> can I come into the event? If I can come into the event. I'll love this is rb.com even more. And they let me into the, uh, to the event. So, uh, again, Do you kudos to see you. yourselves as a new record label being like online? That, um, I mean, that, that's a hard term to put maybe in that sense, but, um, I think it would be an amazing progression for that step from a website to take that step. And I think that, Many haven't really thought about it in that sense, and we would love to consider that. It's okay. a great idea. I mean, but as far as now, I think we're more or less just <laughs> we're more just just the new magazine. Like we are to artists what the source was to rappers. Wow, okay. I, I like that. Okay, and to R and B, to R and B, yeah, to R and B. Yeah. And, you know, R and B is definitely. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a missing element, um, but I I hope that you guys continue to build strong relationships with artists and. Have them understand the importance of the genre of music that they've chosen, but more importantly, the genre of radio stations that really support them. Because, you know, you can't really have a successful career fully without radio. Black radio has been the foundation, the backbone, and the, the lifeline to uh, making a, building a lot of careers, mm-hmm. um, whether it's for old artists or even new artists. So I hope that you will impart that information upon them because um, terrestrial radio is uh, still a, an important factor, especially when it comes to black radio in particular. It's still the number one factor. It's still the number one place people hear new music. Yes, it is. Yes, it really is. And it's so funny because artists do understand like what's going on with terrestrial radio. I remember one of the first things I even did for the site was uh, Kevin Cossum. Wow. When we brought him up here. Yeah, I remember that. And he was just so amped. He was like, I'm about to go see Lenny Green. Wow. I'm about to go see Lenny Green. Like, so... They understand what's what when it comes down to it. Well, that's good. That, so maybe we need to just let the ones who are, have been in there for a minute to understand that as well. I won't mention names. I'm not going to mention names because I'm sure you're playing a lot of their videos. So maybe we need to like just give a wake-up call. Like, come to Jesus Talk is what I would like to call it. I think new R&B artists right now are, I think it's the best group of R&B artists that I've seen in a while because they're just so hungry and so passionate and so aware. They know what it is now. These yeah. Yeah, they, I think artists nowadays are a lot more appreciative than when it was like a a factory line of artists coming out. Because mm-hmm. right now it's a little bit more organic. Like right. And a lot of them have to do this work themselves. Yeah. Right. They're all independent pretty much. Everybody's you know? Master P now. Because <laughs> even if they get signed to a label, the label's not going to do a lot until they get to a certain point. And are they la- have to get there themselves. Are labels expecting them to have to bring everything to the table, social networking as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Nowadays, the only thing a label might do for you is just help you get onto a blog. And they won't even tell you that. Really? No. They're not going to say, we're not going to do this for you. Why? Because they still want to keep their face of, we... we yeah, it's the same thing as this. a man with his ego. They, they don't want to like, <laughs> you know, put themselves <laughs> in any sort of position. You have to bring it there, Wes. Wow. You have to bring it there. Wow. Okay. Right. Thanks, James. So, so, James, we're not going to do it. <laughs> Thank you for making oh. so publicly known, man. James Wexler is like... <laughs> This is rb.com. No, but it's a really great site, and uh, you really have to go on and, and check it out. Uh, they're right in line with their, all their competition. You you definitely – and you do have a, a competitor or two out there, but, uh, you know, nothing sure. uh, equates to – Yeah, nothing equates to what you guys – I think you guys definitely bring a different element to the game o- o- online for sure. So please make sure that you log on and, and check them out in a great way. Uh, but getting back to relationship situations at hand. Uh, would you, <laughs> you, you need a drink on that? You need a drink on it? You need a cocktail? Um, do you, you know, it's something that I had a conversation in, and next week, um, Tara, Tara Wallace. Mm. That is going um, From Fire, Love and Hip Hop. She then. will be coming here and I've gotten her to stay uh, not only for the 10 o'clock hour, but to midnight. <laughs> so we're going to have a really in-depth and raw conversation. Now, Tara, Wallace, in case you may not know, is Peter Gunn's baby mama. I can't say she's not the, the mother wife. Mother of his children. 
Uh, yeah, baby mama. Uh, two boys. Um, the relationship has been 13 years. And um, he got married to somebody else. So we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got oh, married to somebody know? else. So next week, oh. what, that's why you need to listen to the Choir Storm <laughs> next week, my brother. I will. Uh, because I will. we're going to really expose all of this and uh, kind of bring everything to the forefront. <laughs> to to kind of bring things in retrospect. Here's what I understand, I and know. and I want you gentlemen to kind of talk about it. Being straight up, one thing I notice about a woman, and and I just had a recent conversation <laughs> with a friend of mine, who said, and, and women don't have a problem doing this, but men, we as men have a problem doing this, and this is really easy. I have a conversation with her. And we're supposed to have lunch. And I said, well, so what are you doing for the holidays? And she clearly said, I'm just chilling with my boyfriend and just bringing in the holiday. That's what we do not do. Now, some do, but I'm talking about the majority. That's why I said some, because Vito does. I've learned how to. Yeah. I've got to be honest. I never did that. But why are we not? Women are proud of that shit They're in a great way. They're like, I got a boyfriend. And the better the chick, the more profound she is with it. Understand me. The better the chick, she knows she's bad. Women, you know you're bad. You know when you're holding all the cards and the decks in your hand. And they're, they're just like, hey, look, I got a man. So So now that we know, this is on the table. Why are we not straight up? That's what I want to know because I want to know that because we never want to throw away new pussy. Whoa! <laughs> Reality. <laughs> I can say that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. Online. <laughs> I mean, but that's I mean that's why I used to do that because you're, we're afraid to give up that one piece of new pussy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Gentlemen, so what do you say, no, James? But I said I used to. Now I realize. Yeah, someone want you? Someone like your stinking ass? Well, yeah, because <laughs> like, yeah, if you notice, if you notice, why does our stock go up once we get somebody? Like all the ones who we wanted don't even come around until you say, uh, okay, you're my girlfriend? Okay, you're my girlfriend. Now you got a call from this chick then, who you haven't heard in like from a year that you've been wanting? It's the same reason you just you said it earlier. Well, it's women the same you get a learn job to compete yes. with other women. We've learned to compete with other women. Yeah, but and, and, yeah. And, no, but and y'all don't that, know. No, how do no, how do y'all know? No. It's like, men do. Men, it's like I a have Leroy the same glow. thing with men. <laughs> when I was single, nothing. I started dating. Phone calls, emails. Like, That's because women it, are bitter when they're single on the low. No, <laughs> they're a little angry. Huh? Oh, I put the picture. Well, you put a picture? Oh, okay. What picture did yeah, you put like up, we, Indy? We put pic- like, well, yeah, we put pictures up. Who's we? No, I'm talking about an ex. Oh, but recently, oh. Oh, I'm okay. talking about it's the same thing with women. Like, we can be in a relationship and men come a-calling. Like, it, it, you want what you can't have. And I think for a woman, <laughs> if you're validated, we're always, uh, we're, we're, we're easily validated because a lot of men come after us. But if a woman comes after a man and claims a man, that means you're good. You're good goods. Mm. You're 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 validated. You're taken. That means oh, so he is a good guy. Oh, but he's not married. So oh, I can try. But why? Still single. Exactly. <laughs> and you said that, Lenny. You told me that. But check this out, though. As long James. as you ain't married, you single. Do you want a chick to come up to you? Now you you're a committed man. Do you want somebody from the past to come up to you now? You settled. Right. What's the point? Right? F- what's the point? Smart man. Yeah, I was gonna say, James, don't let this shenanigans crap for nothing you got going on. I was saying right here, don't like, you even fall for it. Right? <laughs> She's listening. <laughs> well, let me flip it the other way to you. Are you single? Yeah, 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 man. So, I mean, why can't we? I mean, aside from aside from us wanting that extra piece. Yo, not for nothing. I tell women I'm dating now. Like, like 
I keep it 100. No, but you know what? Dating, that kind of gets, that's like water. Let, let, no, let, let them know it's a race. Like, you better, yeah, nah, better run fast, nah. woman. No, no, no. They, they got to see you almost. When you're saying you're dating, they almost got to see you. In order, like once they see you with somebody, yeah. or, or they realize that yeah, you're not yeah, calling yeah, them yeah. as much, yeah. then they know the antenna goes up, and then they know, oh, no, something's up. Something's up. Because normally he would have called me by now. He hasn't called me by now. And don't let them see you in passing or or check your social network and see you have posted up a picture with you and somebody else. Now it's like, oh, <laughs> hell no. See, what I don't social understand, network lady. network is the devil. <laughs> and I think, Indy, you spoke on it. You're like, you always want something. I don't want anything that I can't have. No, you do. But why do women want something but that you, you can't do. have? We, oh, no, 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 no. It's not just, it's not just in relationships. We all want stuff that we can't have. Mm-mm. That's what that's Mm-mm. for. Mm-mm. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mm-hmm. We're, we, are, we are a society that is raised to accumulate. We're not fine just being where we are. We want the bigger mm-hmm. house. We want the different quarters. car. Yeah. Yeah, no. we are. We're no, all no, hoarders. No, you're we are say, not. You're Selective. You're going to say no. no. You're going to say yeah, no. Yeah, because you know what? If I know you're with the dude... Matter of fact, I don't even have to know you what to do. I just got to see you what to do. He could be your cousin for all I care. I'm, I'm like this. Next. Because I'm not interested in you. I, am, I, don't want, I don't want no problems. You don't want the I don't problems. Want okay, but be honest. You I don't am. want the problems, but you might still want me. You're right. So my thing is, if, no. if I'm so, yeah, if I'm showing myself as being available, if I'm like, look, you saw me with him. Well, because we. talk about dating No. But I'm not coming at you. But here's my point. But here's my point. I'm not coming at you. If she came, the Vito, uh, Vito just created a scenario. Mm-hmm. She's in my place. She comes at me. Right. And you still know that you saw me walking with the guy. Right. Well, but I'm not coming at you. Here's I came my, at you. I, it doesn't matter. You no, saw no. me walking with the but, guy. But here's the thing: what I'm trying to say you. with women and sh- fellas, don't don't leave me out here. With women, women, <laughs> <laughs> women will women will make the assertive move. I'm not making an assertive move. Okay. On you. Well, what, but what's but what's what's your point? Is your point that my you point think is I'm unavailable and me? You're not available unav- to me. I don't have any interest so in you. If I make myself available, then I am available to you. Yeah, but see, I'm not. But see, I'm not making myself available. I'm not even paying attention to, to you. You don't want to share. Let me say something. Share? Share what? To see, see if you're in a relationship? No. He said, what he said was he wants to know why, why, basically why we want what we can't have. If he sees me with someone, that means that he doesn't know who he is. That means that he doesn't want me. I'm unavailable. No, it's not me that you don't want. It's the issues that come with me if I have them. Okay. So if, if, I, if I come to him and I'm like, Hey, hi, I'm available. I'm attracted. Let's hang. Let's do whatever. I'm going to stop you. You're going to wonder who that guy was. I'm going to say, yeah, what's, what's up? Because I see you with the dude. Oh, that's my boy. That's, that's my your, friend. Your friend? That's my boy. That's my friend. That's, that's my work that's partner. My boy, that's my boy. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> 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 like that. <laughs> that's it. That, that's it. <laughs> see, see, that would be a veto move. Hold on. I need to know a little bit more. Why? And the reason why, why I need to know just a little bit more. Why? why? You're ODing because right now if you need to know more. That's it. That's your I'm, friend? I'm what? I'm What's your name? I'm ODing? No, I'm ODing. All right, you know what? This is the frisbee. She's throwing it. She just unbuckled she, her bra guess, right there. Now, nah, I got you on that. I got you. But see, I'm a, I'm old school. I'm an OG, right? Here's that thin line. You sound like a 40-year-old virgin. Here's the thin line. Because, I, because I'm the target. See, it's easy when you're not the target. But because I'm a target, and the reason why I call myself a target, because I'm in the light, right? I don't want the issues. I don't want the extra problems. Okay. So a guy who maybe not in the light, maybe he wants to take a chance. I don't need you to know where the hell I live. Mm-hmm. I don't need your man to know where I live. I mm-hmm. Look, I had a chick, an ex-girlfriend, who came back to visit me, right? Mm-hmm. I decided to put her up for the weekend. Little did I know that dude had a tracking device on her phone. Oh. Dude, now she li- and I didn't now I'm at the airport. Why am I exposing my business once again? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm at the airport picking her up, right? She gives me she, oh, <laughs> she gives me a number. She gives me two numbers actually, right? 
Yeah, oh, I so remember, two numbers. I remember Damn. this story. Remember <laughs> That's this. already a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> two phones. <laughs> but hold on. Look, Brian has two phones. We got two phones, I'm sure. I got it. I told you. I throw people on the bus. You know what? The reason why I throw people under the bus, under the bus, because I've been working with Vito for quite some time. <laughs> And Vito has a tendency to throw me under the well, bus all the time. One of my phones so. is a work phone, you see? You see? I understand. Hey, don't, don't, too late now. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so here I'm waiting at the airport for her, right? And, the, and I'm like, I know she said 5 a.m., so I'm here at the airport waiting. <laughs> 5.30 comes. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Red eye. You know, did the flight get canceled? Did she change her mind? I call. Number one. Ring, ring, ring. Dude picks up. Mm. I said... Oh, I'm sorry. I got the wrong number. <laughs> yeah, that's happened to every guy in his life. Right? I got the wrong number. I hang up. So two minutes later, my phone rings from the same number I just called, right? Hey, uh, da, 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 da. long story short, bottom line, Do says, oh, well, my people are in New York. My fiance. Mm. Yo, who? <laughs> <laughs> so long story short chick gets in the car and i'm like yo first of all i didn't oh, so know she you... showed up she showed up she, she comes she show... okay. she's like the flight was delayed right 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 Bitch, get out my car. <laughs> <laughs> so mm-hmm. i'm like you're engaged because if i knew she was engaged i don't have time for this yeah at all yeah, yeah. so she's like i'm not engaged now here's the here's the games. Oh, right? I'm not engaged. Who do you believe? Here's the game. Who do you believe? Him. I believe him. Him. Because I believe him. What dude is gonna say my fiance? Yeah, exactly. Why are you gonna say your fiance or Women what? Women will claim men. Some suckers. But men are uh, no a man. A, a man is gonna well, claim a woman. You, there's you, a few you, out you, there. You, you that never would. met some suckers before. There's some suckers out there. So, but um, but define that. What do you mean? Like a dude that would actually like, say that just a yeah. It's, it's kind of like CB. Like cockblocking. Yeah, he he'll yeah. just CB the whole situation. Well, why would you give me a number she to a guy? Up. She messed up. Exactly. So more importantly, Stop now it. now he's no, checking no. me. Because mm-hmm. evidently she lied about the whole entire trip. She said she was going to see her ex-boss and the whole nine. Oh. Is the ex-boss so, a female? I'm the ex-boss. He's but she ex-boss. incorporated a female who was really my boss and made us a couple. Like, she, she matched You're so my- good at lying. <laughs> 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 Ladies, oh! ladies, <laughs> you know you're the best. Come on, ownership. Such a great lie. <laughs> ownership in 2014. Take ownership. So she masterminded this whole thing. I'm totally oblivious until I finally get this story. So I did not know, dude had a, tra- and she didn't tell me this. Dude, she, maybe she didn't know that she was being trapped. That's not something you know. That's the whole point. iPhones when, have that nowadays. This if you get that. a gift as a phone, oh, this this. please understand that you could be tracked if someone gave you the phone. Yeah. Nah. So yeah. she, he had a tracking device on the phone. And when she had said, he wants to come here, I'm like, yo, you need to get away from me. That's the first thing. Because I don't need you to be anywhere close because already he or is checking, he's checking yeah. my social network, and he's like, yeah. "So why would you want to go and hang around this guy? Because he's around all these models and blah blah blah." Oh, I'm I'm like, I'm like, home. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. It's snowing here in New York. In case you're listening to us in uh, Spain, and we know we have a lot of people that listen to us from a, and watch us from around the country, so. Tonight, on this particular show right now, oh. it is uh, almost it's like a blizzard, a blizzard outside. outside. So, yeah, that is what it is. But anyway, so that that's the situation at hand. You know, tracking devices is really, really scary. So, I, you know. I know, I, and I feel not, you. I, like, I don't, I, I'm, and, and, and maybe I shouldn't put age into it. I think everybody's different. GPS. But I'm at a place where I don't, I don't like chaos. I can't deal with chaos. Neither and can I. And all. No, come clean. Just come clean. If you're not ready for a commitment, that's fine. Then and tell ladies, me that. let me just say if this to you. If you are, what does that look like? Because everybody's definition of commitment is totally different. Everyone's, everyone's picture of what their needs are in a relation, in a, in a committed relationship are different. 
Totally you different. Know, and you need to have that conversation before you go in. I'm still confused about what dating is. Some people think dating is just. Well, let's out. find out. Let's find Some out. We got look. We got two other sex. people beside us. Like, what's dating? Let's find out. What's da- James? What's, what, what's dating, dating to you? Like now I know you're yeah. above that, and I know it's I don't been know a what long dating time. is today. Okay, well, what were you, you dating when you when you were dating? Wife, right when right. you dated your wife, what was that like? What was dating? Actually, still started dating in school. But what was dating? Define it for me. Damn. Had some flip phones. Side I mean, I don't even know what to how to describe it to you. Is dating is dating um, going out with not only her but other for, people? For me, it wasn't. For me, it was just dating her. Yeah. So you dated well, obviously exclusively. Obviously, there's an early period where you don't really know what it is. That's the case for everybody. How long does that period last? It's different for everybody. Okay, so that that period for us was probably pretty short. So when I said dating, right? Hmm. Well, in general means that you're dating several people, in my opinion. Yeah. And dating one person means that you're dating exclusively. But dating, if you're dating that one person, relationship? Or are you just dating? Well, I don't know. How, how, I don't, how do women look at that? I don't, I don't know. I can't speak for you're, other women. I'm going so on what, what, you. what if, what, say we were dating, right? And I, and I, I'm dating. How would you feel if I if you said it like that, it was it, we're friends, but on a higher level. So it's not we're not committed, but we're just hanging out. Wait, wait, you're we're saying you're friends on a higher level? Would that mean that he no. would have be dating you more than once? Then, right? If you're friends on a higher level, because let's say he dated you once a month or twice a month. Then what? I see that as we're just friends and we go out, we hang out, we go on dates. Okay, like until so you I can have date, a conversation. Like have, right. Sorry to cut you off. Of a this is a commitment now. Then you're not committed. You have okay. to have a conversation. Now, what do you say? Because I know you fell back for me. And that's what dating is. Please so, come up to the mic, okay. sir. Until you have okay. that conversation, right? Okay. Dating. How do you classify dating? Um, I'm new to dating right now, actually, though, because I just got out of a relationship. So how do you classify? Um, It's just dating multiple people. Like, going on dates with multiple people. Now, does every person that you go on a date with know that you're dating other people? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Okay. I'm too old and mature now to, like, even deal with Anyone ever saying that I lied to them about anything? Okay, so let me swing it back to Indy. Indy, a person is dating you, mm-hmm. and you got intimate. That's where it gets tricky. Because mm. they always say, don't have sex with me and someone else. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But here, here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. You didn't know you were going to have sex. Right. You both have been oh, out. no, 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 you. Well, you knew. Yeah, I you know. knew from the time you met him. I know. Because, fellas, Rue 101, ladies know if they're going to fuck you. But, okay, Jump can I, wait, 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 wait. Can we I just, know so, thank you. No, 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 we, no. we know, we know, we okay. know, we know Side that we want to. on that topic, though. <laughs> we start off one of the Yes, <laughs> we do know. However, ladies, you should know. So don't, don't take that no. I, I got it. I have to put that out there. Yeah, they know. Like, yeah, they're being tricky. No. If you don't know, if you're not in touch with the fact that you are attracted to someone and yet at some point you want to take it to another level, you don't need to be having sex. You need to be responsible and not lie to yourself first before you put your body in a position where it can be compromised. Point blank, period. So, yes, we know. I know that if you smell good or if you touch me a certain way or it's going down. Like, I know. So what yes. did I touch you? <laughs> get over here. Get over here. So wait, so, so let me get let me let me go back to my scenario though. So okay, so you knew so you knew so the moment happens. The sexual encounter happens. Okay. In your mind, in a woman's mind, I know you can't judge every woman, but in your mind as a woman, does the the does the landscape change now? Yeah. In your mind, and landscape changes. All right, let me swing it to the gentleman now. Well, well, the, wait. The last... No. Okay. <laughs> right here. Think, right here. Right here. Oh, yeah. that's, right there. that's the G spot. Yep, that's the spot. Just give a little so, kiss, a little time. Oh, wait, but, so, but let me just say this, though. It changes. However, it doesn't mean now. Before, no, you were mine. Now, it changes because I've shared something with you that I wanted to. 
So yes, it changes for me. It wait, does. Wait, what did you share? What did you share? It's Our going vagina. to. But it's hold on, hold on, change. but hold on, but hold on. Why? Because but hold on. You're, you're but we sharing. shared. But we shared something too. No, no, no. I'm not excluding you. I'm okay. telling you why it's changed. Okay. It changed because one, people change every day. You make a decision and you're going to change. If you don't, then something's going wrong. Why would my feelings change? I feel closer to you. I've shared something with you. But he shared something with you too. I, you're not talking about you. I'm telling you why it's changed. Okay. It's changed because I've given up a part of myself. I've excuse me, not given. I've shared a part of myself. And now I'm in a different mindset. So my mindset is What do you mean why? Because okay, you know, if you go outside and you walk and you fall down and your ass hits the ground, it hurt, right? So you change. You're not the same. It's not the same as when you were inside and you were cushy and you were walking. Now when you stand up, you're going to be a little I don't bit. Oh. This but hold on. <laughs> but hold on. Well, you can. You absolutely. But let's go. Let's go back. you want to? But hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back to what James said. Okay. No. 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 I, 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 no. no. Let me finish. No. This is so perfect. No. This is perfect. This is. I'm going to bring in another one. <laughs> Please do. Hurry up. Wait and dust yourself up. Okay. Got it. And you can. And women can do that too. But my point is, why do that? I'm entitled to feel any way that I want and embrace that emotion. However, I also have to be responsible. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking. I'm talking about you. Are you paying you're, attention? You're, you're are you about... paying attention? Huh? No. What? Listen, listen. The thing you're is, see what I'm talking about. the change right is now. normal. <laughs> Well, hello there. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing? The change is normal and it's healthy. But what we can't do and shouldn't do is expect for that to be the same on your part. So that's where the responsibility comes. If I have sex with someone, of course my feelings are going to change. Either I'm not going to like you anymore, I'm not going to be attracted because it's just not there, or I am. But now I have to be responsible and say, that's okay. If it wasn't good, it wasn't good. And if it was awesome, it was awesome. If it keeps us where we are, it keeps us where we are. But do I change? <laughs> Absolutely, I change. And you need to recognize that. So then the, your next decision for yourself, ladies, is, hmm, am I going to do this again? Or am I going to wait and have a conversation? Am I going to see where his head is? That's where the, you shouldn't go from, oh, my feelings, I got feelings now. Now he's mine. Now I'm going to make sure he wipes me. Now I'm no, that's irresponsible. But do I change? Yes, I change. Okay. Things make me change. Let me let me bring yeah. in a let me let me bring in a different lady. Um, <laughs> I want to I want I want to welcome in uh, a young lady who is one of the hottest uh, urban uh, urban models in the game. Her name is Jazzy Bell. Th th thanks for stopping by. Ooh. I really appreciate it. Hi, Jazzy. Uh, well, I that's did. Ja right, Jazzy. <laughs> Out of nowhere, right? I know, I know. I, I did. Put me right on the spot. They need some more. If you're dating somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're dating someone mm -hmm. and sex happens, sex happens. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's say you, you've dated this person, let's say two months. All right. Three months, maybe okay. sex happens That's in your mind, in, in your mindset, in your <laughs> mindset, does your perspective change in terms of more of a commitment for this guy since you've had sex? A commitment. I think the commitment should have been there prior to us having sex. I well, think some type of standard should have been there. Some type you of know that he's clearly dating several mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. when you were dating him. So mm -hmm. he made it very, very clear that he was dating. Okay. So obviously you're not exclusive. Right. Right? You never had sex, but the moment happens. Right. So once the moment happens, does your mindset now change? Not necessarily, no. Mm -mm. For me personally, it wouldn't change. Not if it was already set in stone what the relationship was in the beginning. You're dating, I'm dating, we're grown adults, we have sex, that's what it is. Now, your name, I'm sorry? Indy. Indy, okay. <laughs> now, what Indy was saying, I agree with her as well, because if she decides that she caught feelings and she feel different after having sex, then yes, it's on her to speak to him about it and let him know, okay, I'm on a different level with my feelings, this is what it is. So I think it depends on the individual, but I don't think that a wom woman should feel obligated to want to talk about a commitment after having sex because he's already been honest out the gate. But do they think mm. about commitment? 
do women think about commitment after sex? See, I can't speak for women. That's too general. Well, what, what about yourself? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I wouldn't think about I mean, it's really because I've been in this situation, so it really depends on the relationship. It really depends on the relationship. If it's three months and for the three months it seemed like it's been about me, then it's like, okay, and I'm catching feelings, then we really need to talk about this. Mm. Because women, we are emotional creatures, mm. you know, way more than men. It's just natural. It's just who we are as women. So I just think women just need to be honest with themselves and be honest mm -hmm. with their, their other. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Jesse Bell, for that I wonderful commentary. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, you, you definitely brought, you to balance out a the skill a little bit. A different perspective? I don't know. Did I bring in a different perspective? No, no, yeah. You brought a perspective out there where you should leave your name and number. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <gosh. laughs> Exactly. I need to catch up with catch, you. Catch, <laughs> catch, uh, Jazz, how can they catch up with you? Right. Uh, Y'all can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's at Jazzy Bell TV. That's J-A-Z-Z-I-E-B-E-L-L-E TV. That's what it is. Thank you, for me. thank you for letting me drag you in here. I appreciate Bye, it. Guys. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Jesse Bell, ladies and gentlemen. So, all right. So, th there you have it. There you have it. There, plain and simple. <laughs> Conversations are always pretty interesting around here. Brian, Brian's on a date right now. <laughs> He's on a date? He's on a date. With who? Up here. Oh, in his mind? <laughs> oh, 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 Brian, you're very special. Look at Well, before we close out tonight, oh, and, uh, and I want to thank you, gentlemen, for, for engaging in conversation with us tonight. Uh, we should remind everybody to check out the website, thisisrnb.com. Uh, uh, Brother Jamie Wexler is the creator of it. And uh, congratulations once again on that Soul Train Thank Award. You, Tra Soul Train Music Award. Yeah, they won. They came a long way. And they're definitely, definitely in the game now. And people are paying attention to what you guys are doing. And... Uh, Bro, what's your name again, Brian? Oh, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure Kevin. it's Kevin. Is it Kevin? Kevin. Is it Kevin? <laughs> Brian oh, Alonz oh. Brian Alonso is with us as well. <laughs> you know what? You know, I, was like, I Yo, blame you them. Like that. I'm was, blaming Brian. <laughs> I'm blaming Brian because it was Brian who actually put the nail over the. Indy started it. No, I didn't start anything. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Wait, what I Indy definitely started. You, you the... said, well, because we want a soul train. <laughs> You should be celebrating with us. <laughs> okay. So you want me to break my diet to celebrate you. So, you know, they got me back into the brown juice with the help of Indy pushing them along. some brown juice also, man. You just drank out of my cup right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, gentlemen, how, uh, any last uh, parting words before we let you guys go? Yeah, what James? people find you? Well, I just got to thank you so much for the opportunity. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, thank um, you, man. Yeah, just this is rnb.com. Um, same on Twitter, Facebook, all that. That's what's up. Right. You guys don't have personal Twitter? Yeah, uh, personal is uh, James Wex, which is W E X X. He started following you right away. <laughs> well, he's not following me, but uh, I'm glad he's following you. <laughs> no, I only have Instagram. I don't really utilize my uh, Twitter too often. Um, my Instagram is uh, Brian Alonce, Brian with the I, and Alonce all at once. That's A L L O N C E. Uh, that's what's up. All right. Yeah. Hey, you see that? I've practiced it. I, I did that in the mirror like four or five times. I know. I got here. Just to be, just to be real with you, I practiced that joint. How'd it sound? Good. Right. And Indy, how can they find you? Instagram, because my Instagram goes to my Facebook and my Twitter. It's it's Indy Online is my Instagram, and it's the, and go to it's Indy Online. Actually, I have new posts and yeah, I'm starting my. And with Vito, Vito can be found. Uh, he really Instagram. doesn't need to be found. He's he's everywhere, so he's global. He's global. <laughs> he's global. Global Vito. <laughs> he's global Vito. Just Google him and just follow him. That's all you got to do. <laughs> with me, uh, at Lenny Green on Instagram and on Twitter, at Lenny Green, and on Facebook, Mr. Radio Lenny Green. Please m make sure you're locking with me as well. Next Thursday night, we will have uh, the beautiful Tara Wallace really from really Love and Hip Hop. Tara Wallace is the baby mama of... Peter Guns. I'm scared, actually. So we're going to have a very interesting conversation next week. It's going to start with Confession of Love. We'll keep her here until midnight. I promise you that. And then the week after that, we bring numerologist, oh, my dear friend, yes. Lloyd Strayhorn, by. Uh, and that's going to be very enlightful in a great way. Mm -hmm. So we've got a couple out of great weeks. Yeah, we're going to find out a few things. We're going to find out your future, too, yeah, sister okay. girl. But until next time, thank you for joining us, and we'll uh, see you soon. All right? God happy bless. New year. Happy New Year to you. Yo.